Look at her. Where is she? There she is. She's just asking to be PK'd. Like, see, she's like, I want to be PK'd. Yeah. Alright. And we have this song. And we have this song. Alright. So, fun fact. The, the, the words they're singing right now aren't actually words. It sounds very close to German, though. Watch it be German. Watch me be, me be a fucking lying sack of shit. Alright. Let's read some news. Alright. Uh, real life card games are back. Let's read Seaweed, the savior of clean energy. Although nuclear power, oil, and other fossil fuels have all had their day in the sun, the current baby of the energy world is hydrogen. Cars that run off of hydrogen burning fuel cells are now commonplace and hydrogen based power plants have become essential in our daily lives. Now Hisako Kawashima a professor of microbiology at Takayuma Univers University has succeeded at producing millions of times the normal amount of hydrogen by mixing the certain kind of microbe with genetically engineered seaweed known as Chlamydominus. Chlamyd Chlamydominus. Interesting. Uh, in recent years, the rate of hydrogen production has fallen steeply, and the scientists all over the world have been searching for an alternative methods of obtaining it. Clammy was first discovered to sometimes produce hydrogen in certain environments by a scientist from Chicago University in the 1930s. Further research discovered ways to have the seaweed produce hydrogen consistently, but until the day the rate of production was so poor that almost none considered it to be viable. But now that Kawashima's research has proved bountiful, plans are already being made to shift hydrogen productions from its original natural gas method to one that uses cl clammy. Clammy based hydrogen production, in addition to being able to produce large amounts of hydrogen, has another big advantage. Hydrogen produced from natural gas releases carbon dioxide to the atmosphere during the process, albeit a tiny amount. Albeit. Albeit. Uh, albeit. But with cl clammy, the method used by method used produces perfectly clean energy. Japan has already announced plans to supply all its existing hydrogen plants with clammy produced hydrogen within three years of building clammy plantations all across the country. And cars that have been equipped with pretend with electrical powered engines that primarily use hydrogen and oxygen for energy, many governments encourage their citizens to use these cars thanks to their ability to function without producing carbon dioxide. Interesting. Salvador Ihara, tourism ambassador. Popular celebrity Salvador Ihara has been chosen to become Brazilian tourism's goodwill ambassador. A ceremony to commemorate the occasion has been held at the Brazilian embassy in South what was it? Ayoyama. Ooh, look at him go. Damn! Salvador Ayoyama was born in Japanese parents in the former capital of Brazil, Salvador City. Proud of his Brazilian birth and Saitama breeding, Ayoyama will be. Ayoyama is well known for being a Bra Brazilophile, making time in his busy schedule to visit six times every year. Upon hearing or receiving a hand carved decoration made of. Jacaranda. Okay. He said in a rare moment of restraint, soccer and carnivals in Rio are not all Brazil has to offer. As ambassador, I would like to show everyone in Brazil they have never known. Uh, naturally, upon being welcomed by two beautiful samba models, he returned to his usual flirtatious self. As his status grows with the success of his movie, is there any limit how high Salvador can climb? New creatures, highly popular. If you guys look, look real closely, you know those two. The one on the right is Rachel! <laughs> and Nuka Sagimuru is on the left. They're actually characters from the previous games, which is pretty freaking cool. Bahamas comedy duo in Japan, new creator or er, new creatures. Why did I call them new creators? 
the fuck is wrong with me? Will make their CD debut this month with the release of theme song Frogs Go Home from the currently running anime Frog Currents. New Creatures is a comedy duo made up of Asagamaru and Rei-chan. They debuted seven years ago and got their big break when the catchphrase THAT'S LOUSY caught on with a middle-aged audience. Now they're a household name and beloved across the country, but the journey there was far from easy. In Western Japan, the pair spent years at the bottom of the heap while performing in as many local TV and radio programs as they could. Gradually, they started to become known among the industry, and in 2013, they made their national debut in the film Fierce Investigators. This allowed them to make their way to Tokyo. Upon their arrival, their agency that they had hired them went out of business. Fortunately, they were found and hired by the comedy angel agency New Enterprises. However, the two that were forced back into near poverty before they could become famous, they survived by performing in the day and working part-time at night. Their luck turned in 2015 when they were called in as last-minute replacements for a celebrity baseball team and wound up becoming a surprise hit. From there, the two would gain regular spots in a variety of shows. Currently, the two are all the rage, holding spots on no less than eight shows, performing live and selling DVDs. The two showed no signs of tension at their press conference when Usagi Mario said how they filled these songs full of the blood, tears, and sweat of the past seven years. Ray Chan quickly responded by saying, Keep talking like that, and it'll be another seven before we sell any causing everyone to bust out laughing. Can these two liven up the music scene in the way they've lightened up airwaves? Only time and CD sales will tell. Doll syndrome patients missing. Six fourth grade doll syndrome patients. Actually, I don't know what a Brazilophile is. I would imagine it's somebody who's obsessed with Brazil. So, I don't know. Somebody wants to look it up. Uh, doll syndrome patients, preferably somebody over 18 and who won't accidentally stumble upon pornography, uh, all 10 years old, have disappeared from their cap hospital in Nitaka, Tokyo. 400 people from the Nitaka police, local fire department, and worried parents are searching for the missing children. Authorities are investigating the possibility that they have become involved in some kind of incident. The children were first found to be missing two nights ago, apparently having left the hospital and homes without being spotted. The six were all friends in the same class in, at their school. Local citizens remarked how they used to see them all the time in the park, gathering around playing online games. The principal of their school was quoted as saying that up until they got all got doll syndrome, they were perfectly normal students. They had good home lives, and they were always the first to raise their hands in class. And they got along great with their teacher. There was nothing more, nothing problematic about them at all. The Nitaka police revealed that six children were sent, seen in front of the elementary school gate around 8:30 p.m. two nights ago. And their eyewitness reports from Nitaka and neighboring city Mesh Musashikawa indicate that the investigation is moving smoothly. Um. Let's watch a movie. Uh, we already, did we watch this one yet? No. No oh, wait, I think we did. Hey folks, thanks for joining us. Salvador Ayjara's Online Jazz! Yeah, I think we watched this one. The program that researches the hottest breakthrough topics and tells Once you I can everything tell you for need sure. to know about it. That's Online Jack. Our team, along with teacher Michiru Tajima, has begun the search for missing child. Yeah, we watched this one. How you doing? This is Salvador Ayjara's Online Jack. We, the investigative team that visited Professor Sugai's home, tirelessly tracked down the hidden connection between the Doll Syndrome incident and Moon Tree, a special guild within the online game, The World. During that time, the one who sent a mysterious email to Michiru Tajima's cell phone was none other than the missing Osamu Kawaguchi himself. Can you believe it? It reads, Help me, Miss Tajima. When I'm playing that game, I feel like I'm becoming more and more violent every day. I want to stop, but Sakaki won't let me. Help me, Miss Tajima. Come to the school and help me. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> 
Could it be that Osamu Kawaguchi was actually called to the school by the player known as Sakaki before he'd vanished into thin air? But why would they come here to my school? Hmm... Sakaki and the school must have a connection. In any case, it seems like Osamu didn't want to come. Oh my! I bet Sakaki threatened him! <clears throat> hey! What are you doing back there, Aihara? Stop that right now! You hear me? Ah, uh, I'm just... Worried about Osamu, that's all. Oh. Uh, I'll go... with you. <laughs> Sorry, but not you. Why not? It's prohibited for outsiders to come in. Wait, huh? need you. What are you... Hey, what are you doing? This camera here is guaranteed to protect you, all right? Hmm? Twilight Onion! Shut up! I'm turning it off! Knock off the stupid jokes! But I'm getting worried about you! If anything were to happen to that precious body of yours before marriage, I'd never be able to face your parents. <laughs> Osamu? Osamu? Thank you, Konekwa, for the seven months. Oh, God damn it! no. Alright. The cast of the world movie revealed. Today, the cast of the movie version of The World was announced. The lead role will be played by actor Daniel Balfour, famous for the film Mexican Brigand. Alongside him will co-star Mint, the CG actress produced by CyberConnect America. Movies making use of the CG are now common. Last year's full CG movie, Princess of Verona, was popular with both critics and audiences, and it was revealed that all the actors from the action film Dice were actually CG after the movie's release. CG's actors used for these movies look so real at first glance that they are indistinguishable from humans. However, continued observation tends to induce discomfort in many people due to their artificiality. CG actors are not actually alive. They cannot blink unless their programming says so, and they do not need to catch their breath after delivering their lines. Not only do they not need makeup, but they never sweat or get dirty either. Real life actors have a variety of natural phenomena that occur in their bodies that the CG actors can never duplicate. However, Edgar Fleming of CC Corp's first production unit says that their new CG actress has completely overcome all of those problems. Mint is loaded with a variety of programs that replicate the natural phenomena of human bodies. She sweats if she stays in a hot place for too long, and if she took a bath earlier, her skin will be wrinkled. These and other programs combine perfectly to recreate an actual human. Other examples include natural blinking and breathing patterns, as well as minor trembling in her legs and arms as she stands and moves. Mint's acting partner, Daniel, offered these comments on his co-star. Mint's a great girl. Whenever I see her moving around, I can't tell that she's a CG. To see whether Mint's acting skills are as good as her appearance, you'll have to come to the theater and find out. If you do come, I'll see you there, because I can't wait to find out myself. 
2D version champion. 2D division is champ. Blah! A two division champion is born. However, this two division champion has nothing to do with boxing. This champion fights in the popular MMO RPG The World in a section of the game called The Arena. A new charismatic player has been born. The arena is combat institution is made up of three divisions. Players can fight in their chosen division against other players. Of these, the aforementioned two division champion, Haseo, dominated both the Demon Palace and the Holy Palace divisions. In the Holy Palace title match held recently, Haseo and his teammates fought against the long-standing champion or er, emperor, the arena's word for champion, Sirius, in a stunning victory. Together with his stint as emperor of the Demon Palace, Haseo has become the only undefeated two-division champion in the arena's history. This was Haseo's first time participating in the Holy Palace division. Not only that, he also managed to assume the Demon Palace throne in his first attempt there as well. Both of these events are a first for the World R2. In the days following the match, players gathered to celebrate Haseo's crowning ceremony. Joining the crowd were a number of passionate female fans. When asked about the champion, they replied, he may look cold and evil, but when he smiles, he looks like a kid, so it's cute. This is not Haseo's first time joining the ranks of the famous, the world players. Before this, he was known as the PKKer, called the Terror of Death. This PKKer, who has been said to have defeated 100 PKers all at once, only began to participate in the arena very recently. Some of the players who frequent the arena speculate that he gave up PKKing to become one of the high arena rankers. With his new two division championship, expectations for Hisei are beginning to really heat up. Fans speak fervently at the desire for him to hurry up and pull off an unheard of three division championship. CyberConnect Japan, which owns and runs the world, declined to comment on Hisei's real life information on the grounds that it violates our privacy policy. A player killer killer. A uh, player who primarily plays the game and defeat players. Players defeat other players. <laughs> See how charismatic that doesn't sound right. Right? A phenomenon known as depopulation, wherein the number of players suddenly decreases, has been occurring in numerous online games. The Network Administration Bureau's investigation on the subject has yet to determine the cause. Currently, there are over 50 types of MMORPGs, massively multiplayer online role-playing games operating in Japan alone. But many of them are suffering from depopulation, a phenomenon known or where players quit in massive numbers. The act of players leaving an MMORPG in large numbers that are not an unusual in itself, there have never been a number of MMOs <laughs> that have gone out of business before putting out a patch. That severely wrecked the game's balance or when cheating and real money trades got out of hand. The latter two are often caused by a lack of security in the administrative side of the game. However, the current depopulation crisis, unlike previous examples, shows almost no administration administrative reason that could cause massive drops in players. It started with a few user complaints. They said that a strange black effect would appear whenever they used a certain skill, but there was no record of any effect like that anywhere. And of course, there wasn't a problem with the program either. And then we started getting rumors about strange NPCs, monsters with impossible parameters, and so on. There were also a chain emails about how playing the game will put you into a coma. A month later, we have been forced into circumstances that made it impossible to continue running the game. To date, there have been four separate reports of this kind. NAB, Network Administration Bureau, thinks that the phenomenon may be a form of online terrorism and plans to investigate accordingly. <laughs> Casual, cute, chic, cool. Introducing new colors for the micro monocle display. Reality unfolds on the other side.
Brand new color variations have been added to the explosively hot micro monocle display, which set two, which set new sales record upon its launch and remains difficult to find even now. The new colors introduced are rose red, pearl pink, royal purple, and crystal white. The makers of the M2D hope to attract female players with a stylish new lineup. According to a poll conducted by CC Corp last month, over 60% of those who said they own one, owned one or planned to buy one one were male. Also, both male and female students showed strong interest in the M2D, with far more owners in their early 20s owning the device than any other age group. Wrong then. On the other hand, women age 20 and up were found to have the least interest in the M2D. In fact, women over 40 who said they didn't know they didn't know of it and only have heard of it or had no plans to purchase it made up 50% of the poll. The M2D M2D makers then used this data to create new colors. They didn't stop there. They went on to create new female-only support dials, devised in the manuals to cute new illustrations and included memory chips that contained diet and fortune-telling software bonuses. Truly, it seems that they are leaving no stone unturned. In preparation for the new colors, an M2D cafe has opened in Ayo... Ayo... Ayoyama, Tokyo, the stylish countryside... Sh style shop has everything from open seats to private rooms and no men are allowed inside services such as free rentals of women targeted software like Yonder yonderful today and resort time and appearances by popular celebrities are planning to help bring in as many new customers as possible with will this grand plan to attract female customers succeed or fail we will have to wait until launch day to find out girl in coma after playing the game. 16 year old girl in Sapporo, Hokkaido, was found to have fallen into a coma in her home and was playing an online game. According to the girl's mother, who was the first to discover her, the girl began playing the online game after arriving home after 5 p.m. According around 8.30 p.m., the girl's mother went to call her daughter for dinner and found her collapse on the floor still wearing the MCD. She immediately called 911 and the girl was taken to a local hospital. The girl's heart had stopped beating by the time she was discovered. Medics were able to restore her heartbeat and breathing using CPR, but her comatose condition remains unchanged. The girl had no major illnesses to speak of and was not acting any differently than usual. According to the witnesses, this has led to something to think that her collapse was due to overexertion from playing the game for too long. The girl is a famous player in the online game of the world. She had reportedly been playing the game every day in order to compete in the game's arena battle. Many of the players who have lost consciousness while playing the world have done while competing in the arena or while leveling up to help their chances of victory. Some medical professionals claim that the tournament is dangerous for these reasons. CyberConnect Japan has repeatedly denied any culpability for these claims, insisting that there is no scientific proof to be found. In fact, they are still prepared to take legal action if this groundless slander continues to impede our business. The footnote reads, A type of fighting tournament that is inside the world. Players are divided by levels, a way of displaying a character's strength through numbers, and then fight each other in an attempt to become the victor. Those who are victorious in the arena battles are granted a variety of bonus, which attracts many players to take part in the tournaments. The second footnote reads, The act of building up experience points by fighting monsters in order to raise one's levels. So this is, um, Alcade. My mom is not happy. Last night at 11 p.m., an unidentified 19-year-old man fell from a high-rise apartment complex in Tokyo, landing on a car below. The man, who was barely alive when paramedics reached him, suffered injuries to his skull and upper body. The police are investigating the matter as both an accident and a possible crime. According to the neighbors, a man was reported to have fallen from a 13-story apartment building in which he resides around 11 p.m. last night. The police arrived. They found a 19-year-old college student lying in the parking lot of his building with a fractured skull. He is currently hospitalized and remains unconscious. The man was wearing a khaki-colored jersey and an M2D upon his discovery. Police believe that the man jumped on his own volition for unknown reasons based on signs that he had forced his way over an iron railing in front of his apartment. 
The man lived alone in the apartment owned by his parents. He had no social problems at school. His friends told the police that he was going on a trip to Okinawa the next day and was really looking forward to it. There's no way he could do anything like this. Several residents of the man's building say they heard a man shouting around 11 p.m. and that he sounded like he was surprised and scared at something. Violence feared and cat catac I know this word too. Katakistan protests. Demonstrations began in the Central Asian Republic of Katakistan, some of which have turned to violent riots. Neighboring countries, fearing that the seeds of violence will spread to their soil, have sealed off their borders for now. Protests in the Republic of Katakistan, located in Central Asia, have escalated to riots at stores and other businesses have come under attack. Katakistan has long been known as the elite nation of Central Asia, for its long-standing economic growth fueled by its bountiful underground resources. However, this growth has led to an ever-increasing gap between the rich and the poor, which has caused a dissatisfaction... Dissat... Dissat... Dis... I know this word too. Dissatis... Dis... Oh no. My... my is my face drooping? Dissatisfaction. Why did I want to say dissatisfaction? That's not a word. With the government fueling these protests. In addition, the country's reliance on military and nuclear expansion instead of domestic policies has earned them much ire from other nations. Currently, Russia and other neighboring countries have sealed off their borders to prevent any similar protests on their soil. That's it for the news. As usual, guys, um, if you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching this now, if you guys have a suggestion of something I should read outside of the news, please let me know on the YouTube comments so I can I can just like look at them and be like, okay, I'll read this next. But otherwise, I'm going to stop for a bit and then start the actual .hack GU stream. Sound good? Be right back. <laughs> 